What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have Jujutsu Kaisen versus, we have Gojo versus Jogo. Very similar names. Um, I'm on landscape paper, use a pencil and eraser, sketch it out lightly, and do your ink afterwards. So we're gonna start with Gojo, Jogo, Gojo, over here on the right hand side. We're gonna start with his nose. <clears throat> so we're just gonna do this kind of letter L sort of shape. So it just curves out like that. And he's real pointy nose. So it curves out and then goes back in. All right, so it's kind of like a letter L, just there like that. And then it bumps up along here for his mask, right? A little bit. And then it goes out like so. So it's kind of like a letter Z then sort of shorter up here and then it'll go around his brow and up towards his forehead. His nostril will just be there and then we'll do his mask right so it goes real long now back this way. Pretty long now about twice the length of this just comparatively speaking if you turn that there See here to here, you go one, two, roughly. And then this will go bump down and back into there. We meet his ear in here, right? So we have a curved line just down around there, sort of an ear shape. And then the rest of the mask comes down towards the nose. we can get our line to be smooth and then it'll kind of curve around here and go back up to the top of the nose so like a couple of little texture lines that will just show that we're we've got fabric sort of here coming around his ear back down around like so not much and like that and the rest is like shadow and shade and things like that so inside his ear we've got some cartilage ear lines like so curving around like this kind of stuff and he's got a sideburn just hanging down here All right, so we'll come back to the nose and just finish his face, right? So top lip sort of curves in and then sticks out here. And then it goes back into there. And then it goes out for the bottom lip. And then curves around that lip and back in towards the chin. His mouth just comes across from this little dip here. It's kind of like a letter M sort of turned sideways. And then from the dip, like this point here, his lip starts like this. And then it'll go around to here. Now you can leave that gap if you want. There's a gap in the image that I'm drawn from. So sometimes there's a gap and sometimes there isn't. That's his mouth. And then we go down for his chin around to here and then we go up for the jaw this way so these real angled features and then this goes up towards his ear this might be a bit of a thicker line just to show a bit of a shadow just behind the jaw here uh, I think there's like a bottom lip line or something just just there Then his chin, his neck and stuff, so just coming out from here, you can see sort of the bottom of the chin, it comes down for the neck. And then there's like a bit of a shadow sort of in here. With some hatching just on the end of it there. So 
So in the back of his head, down from his mask, like that. And then we have some hair lines going back here. And there's like some lines on the end of it here. We're gonna, I'll put a neckline here. There isn't one in the picture, but I think there should be one. Just like a neckline, just like that. And then we'll do a spiky hair coming out from the mask here. So, starting like a small one here. Move it that way. And then we go up and around. So it's real big. Some of the spikes might go off my page, but if you have more room, feel free to sort of just bring them to a point, right? So we're going up this way. Curving spiky lines. So some of them might start to go off my page now. And we just have some texture lines sort of on the hair here as well. So, so. Right, and then, so clothing and things. So, and his hand, so he's, got, he's doing that cross thing with the hand here. So let's see. Right. So his collar sort of comes down across his neck. So we'll go, page moving. Down like that, and then this comes out this way, down the back, right to there. And then we will go out that way. This kind of comes around the front there. And then this collar comes down this way. So we got a couple of bumping lines just back here. And then the middle line for his collar comes down here, bumps around once, twice maybe down, like so. His shoulder then sticks out here. And then this will go down towards his arm. He might have like a bump out for his elbow and then another one maybe there chest front of his body that way like an armpit fold that way something else going that way then another folding line kind of coming across here and then another one here going that way another there there Like an armpit line for the other shoulder that way. And the rest of that is then shading and, you know, dark purple or light purple for his clothing. Alright, so his hand then comes up here, right? So let's go. So right, we'll start with this just the sleeve, the open part. So goes around like that. Just this curved shape. Then the outside of it comes down like that and the outside there. 
and his wrist will come out from the inside of the sleeve here, okay? Comes out like so. Like that. And it'll come out for his hand, that way. And this will bump around, like so. So he's doing the, you know, the cross thing. So we're looking at it from this side, so we can see his pinky and his ring finger first. So hands are always tricky, so take your time. So this comes up. Curve for the knuckle here. Curve down again for the knuckle here. And then go in again like that. So you have three segments on fingers, three knuckles, one, two, three, okay? And then his top of the pinky comes around that way. And then one, two segments there. Ring finger then beside. So comes out, up, first knuckle, out to the second knuckle, down to the third, which goes behind the pinky. And then curve line here, curve line there. So then we have two fingers sticking up this way, okay? And the thumb on this side. I guess we do the thumb first because it's like opposite this. It'll be easier. Out this way. And it goes up like so, curving out to a knuckle, thumb knuckle here. So the thumb knuckle, like so. And then this goes to the th top of his thumb, around. Down, curve back in, right? And then there's a bit of a thumbnail just here on the side. Maybe like a skin line there, skin line for his hand. Something down here for the bottom of his hand. And then skin line like that, okay? And then those two crossed fingers. So one of them's relatively straight, right? So it comes out from the bottom of his thumb. And then it'll go Like this. So this is the straight finger and then curves around the tip of his finger like that. And then comes back down. Like so. And this may have some like skin lines just to show the three segments of the fingers. One, two, three. And then we just have the one that's in behind, crossed over, right? So it comes out from behind this one. There. Down. And like so, into there. And that skin line. And we can just see the tip of the finger sticking out from behind here. Like so. Okay, that's Gojo. I think that's everything, right? So Jogo. So we'll go over to the left hand side and we'll start probably with his with his big eye. Let's see where is he? Okay. So again, he's got a hand kind of coming across here, and then his face. He's kind of like he's looking. He's freaked out, right? Because he's losing, basically. So just across from here, we have his big eye. So let's go for it. So we'll do like a big curved line for the top of it. Like that. And then this will come down the front. To there. And then we'll bring it back up underneath. Like so. And then we might have a cheek line or something just here. His iris and his pupil inside. So he's looking this way. So it's it's an ellipse. It's a skinny circle. So we will just curve this around. Like that. And then his pupil inside. So skinny sort of one at the back here. 
Black. Maybe looking that way. So does he have veins in his eyes or anything? He's fighting them. Let me see. Not really. Okay. So we're good. Right. So bottom eyelid. So we'll come out so here. Back in, round underneath, top eyelid, comes out. Round like so. And he doesn't have a nose, so it makes it easier for us. So we just go straight to lips. So it like curves out like that. Curves in. Sticks out for the bottom lip. Into there. And his mouth then is in here, right? So it's kind of like a separate sort of area. So it curves across. He's gritting his teeth. He's not happy. Curves across here. Down the back. Bottom lip comes over and joins this corner there. And just the front of his mouth is just like teeth and stuff. Just there, okay? So then we just fill this in with teeth, right? So the back of his mouth is like here. And maybe like you can see his gum line is there. This is all shadow sort of in here, so you can Hatch it or shade it, or just color it black, which is probably what I'll do. And then the teeth bump across here. Like that. And then across the bottom, we got teeth lines. And then teeth coming down this way. And the bottom teeth. Just there like that. So he's stressed out, not happy. Then we might have some lines just around for his cheek. And then his chin sticks out here. Square comes back in. It's not sort of pointy like Gojo's. Sort of a square sort of chin. And then he comes in for his neck down. Then we can see some of his jaw going this way. Like that. And curves up the back like so. And then again, you can add a shadow with some hatching here. If you want. And his jaw goes up towards his round ear. Okay. So to begin with this ear, we do kind of a circular curved line up and around there. He kind of has ears like um, Frieza or, you know, from Dragon Ball, that kind of circular. Thing. And then there's a circle here, not touching the outside line yet. It's like a cork in his ear. All right, and then we have another line that comes around that, an edge line, just to show that it's a 3D sort of object that has a, an outside edge. And then the top sort of comes out from there. Back of his neck is just here. And then this goes around for his head. So his head is a volcano on top, okay? And it comes around like so. There. And the front, his forehead, comes out there. And 
Okay, so then this volcano, just typical sort of volcano sort of shape, right? Just curves up and then it kind of bumps across the top. A couple of times. And then we got like texture lines and things, right? So like some lines coming down. There. Coming down his head a little bit. And maybe across here as well. Like so. And if you want sort of steam and you know smoke coming out. Need color that sort of grey and shaded and all that jazz. Right, so his hand comes across his body here and comes out from his shoulder, okay? And he's got like a fur jacket, so it's like a fur. So, let's say, so we do just like the line for his forearm. So, just underneath his chin here, we've got like his forearm comes out there. So it's like the top of his wrist, then the bottom of his wrist. that way and his sleeve so his arms going into his sleeve just comes down here and his elbow curves around like that into there and he could have like like an elbow sort of line forearm line muscle line for his forearm there so that's his wrist right so his hand So we've got the top of his hand, so his wrist bumps there. And then the bottom of his hand curves around and up. Right, so we've got fingers now. So we've got a finger sort of bumping out this way. And the back of his hand goes up here. So I guess we'll, we'll do this, it goes up this way. So, let's see, so we got like, we got a knuckle here, one, curves up to another knuckle here, and then this will go up to the top of his finger out there, real long, and then it kind of curves around, down, in. To there. Next finger comes out there. So we've got a knuckle down, up, another knuckle down, up to the tip of the finger, and then this goes around, down. Awkward hand position now, this. It's a bit longer. And then this goes down to here. You might have like some knuckle lines and things. There's a fingernail on this one. Then the other finger goes out this way. Zoop. Around here. Down, like so, into there, and then a fingernail here, and another sort of knuckle thing going on this way. Maybe a fingernail, we should see a fingernail on that one as well. Some knuckle lines there, like some skin maybe falling that way. So that's three fingers, right? So we can just see another one in between here and the thumb sticking out down here. So I guess, I guess the thumb sort of is here coming out from behind this finger. Around, down, down this way. Down around and into the hand. And here, and like 
maybe a skin line or something here. And then the other finger sticking up here. Like so, and you can just see the edge of it down behind us. Right, so that's pretty much the hand, right? That's tricky to draw now. So try and pause it and see if you can get that as close as you can. So then the rest of his costume, okay? So he has these bone-like buttons here, these sort of spikes coming across three of them that we can see. One, two, and then another one just behind the hand here. Maybe a fourth starting here. And then this fur that comes around from his face. So it's like, is it fur? Well, it's kind of fur, but it has. Lines like that, and then. texture on it sort of like this and then we'll go up behind his head on this side like that and another sort of bumping area coming out sort of there and then goes into sort of here and you could have like texture and things on it So, and so then he wears he wears a yellow cape. So what we can see of it anyway. So say coming out from behind his head, it's all sort of flowing this way. Another one will go off that way, or sort of flow line that way, and then coming out from behind his head here. So all sort of flowy and like this and then coming out over his shoulder. Comes behind Gojo's hand. This will go real far to here. some more fold lines and things just there and his cape sort of flies out here on top curves around and down and then where would it go this way so that's going back into there maybe like a fold line that way or something this way we can just see his elbow here, so just like these bumping fabric lines down to the bottom of his sleeve, and the other side of the sleeve should be like there. It's all dark inside here. And these would be sort of phone lines and things just there. That's the bottom of his cape. Stretch lines for clothing. And then the cape comes down this side, coming out from his wrist. It goes off that way. And then like, he goes back in there, like some folding lines, like so. And what's underneath that? He just has a black shirt on or something, so. Nothing much. So, say, like, if there was a center line. And then some stretch fold lines for his shirts, just going that way. And then he has black sort of polka dots on his shirt. So they're 
odd sort of shaped kind of thing. So like cow sort of, you know, cow spots or cheetah spots. So just some behind Gojo's hand here as well. Just on the cape in random sort of places. as you want now like that and that's his elbow bottom of his cape and you know did dirt and like lines and stuff flying in the air but in general that's it that's how to draw gojo versus jogo hope it's helpful guys thanks for watching see you in the next one bye